So if I'm a teacher or I'm an employee, I don't want to get the vaccination, what happens? I, I, I can still do my job, but I have to get tested on a much more regular basis. How does that all work? You got it. Exactly. So we're in the process right now where staff are providing their proof of vaccination information. Uh, and for anyone who doesn't provide that or is unable to provide that, we consider them unvaccinated. And so they have two options. Um, and, and I want to make very clearly, we're not laying them off. They're not being terminated. So they have two options. Uh, one is that they'll go undergo uh, regular testing. Uh, testing will be provided by the school district at the cost of uh, the school district. And so there's no cost borne on those employees. Uh, or if those employees don't want to get tested regularly, I think it's about one or twi- once or twice a week right now that we're working with public health and just clarifying that. That'll begin on March 7th. Um, they can go on extraordinary leave without pay. Um, and so, so far in terms of that feedback, um, I've heard from staff who are obviously very pleased with this direction. They felt that it was safer to have those who are vaccinated in our schools, uh, resounding um, uh, feedback from our families as well. Uh, and I've got to tell you, I got voicemails because my phone number uh, at the local level, my phone is uh, number is available on the website from people as far as uh, Ontario, uh, not very happy with what we were doing in Souk. Um, and uh, some unfortunate comments as well, you know, lots of racism and stuff that, um, uh, you know, I, I'm, I'm used to, but a lot of people, uh, one in particular, one person who said that if I was actually born in Canada, I would know the values of, of Canada and um, I proceeded to start singing the national anthem, which uh, I can tell that person I, I know, I know as well. <laughs> 